shit, but I wonder if it's maybe just a, a, a casualty of woke culture, but not the wokeness itself. What I mean by that is that it seems like you're not taking the world seriously. Like, how could you be making a comedy while this is happening or something like that? People feel a lot of pressure. The first thing people do when they get rich is start finding charities, right? Yeah. That's, that's what most people do. And, and, and causes, and, and they think that their opinion matters then. I wonder if that's part of it. Like, I wonder if there's shame from inside the institution for like, well, how could you make something silly like right now? Because after 9-11, the first thing that came back was goddamn comedy. Yeah. It was yeah, baseball yeah. and comedy, right? Yeah. Seems like a reasonable thing to do is fucking distract yourself and then, you know. Not at all. I think it's gone too woke now. I think if you were, if you were out of it, out of the circle of it, you could make some crazy shit. But I think that's the only way you can kind of get away with it. Mm. When you're doing stand-up and shit, is there jokes that you were like, ah, man, I can't tell that one anymore? Yeah, there's one right now that I'm working on. And, you know, I, I wrote it, like, I've been, I, I came out with it this week. And uh, it's about, uh, it's probably never going to work, to be honest with you. Because I, I tried it three times. It didn't work the first time. Killed the second time. And I'm like, oh, cool. I figured this out. And then the third time. So it's about... Uh, I'm a, like a picky eater and I started eating Indian food and like at the, in like the restaurant in my neighborhood and my Indian friends, like other comics that I'm friends with, they're like, that's not real Indian food. And I'm like, well, a fucking real Indian guy gave it to me. You know what I mean? Like the menu was real. And like, I go off onto that and I'm like, that's an internal problem. You guys got to figure out. And just that, like, even the fact that I'm talking about it, just, you can feel the tension and it just tightens up in the room. And I'm like, ah, this this isn't going to work no ever, shit. for some reason. So it's, it stifles the idea. And like, obviously it's not the funniest thing, but it's like a topic that I'm like, let me see if I can get a laugh out of this, you know, one or two laughs and build, but it's probably never going to get enough steam to actually become a full bit just because the tension in the room doesn't let it get there. Yeah, I, I get it. We were, we were debating that uh, Tony Hinchcliffe thing that got leaked, um, you know, where he was making fun of that comic Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, me personally, I didn't have a problem with it. And I thought he was just joking around with like a buddy of his. Um, and then somebody leaked the tape and said, fuck you guys. But I I'm sure that's probably part of what you're worried about too, right? I am a little bit, but it's also like, I, I don't, I don't say anything like so off the wall. Like what Tony was doing was clearly like this, you know, super characterized bit based on what was happening before, based on a guy he knows, you know what I mean? So like, um, but I always just felt like if somebody did record me last night, me fumbling through this bit about Indian food, I would feel okay being able to defend that if it made it to like the New York post or whatever, you know? Yeah. So like, I, I, I don't go any, I don't go too far out. It's also like the audiences don't really let you unless it's all of your fans, you have some more leeway, obviously. But if you're just in a regular New York comedy club on a Sunday night or a Tuesday night, like, you just have a cross section of like some of them are tourists, some of them are, you know, there's people from all over. So they don't really give a fuck who you are, whether or not, you know, it's kind of like, I don't like this right now or I feel weird in the moment. So it just kind of tightens up. Right. So you are going to leave New York then because fuck, <laughs> fuck all of that. What's the point of staying there? Well, what's the point of New York without the toughness? If, yeah. New York, if New York has turned to a bunch of pussies, it doesn't, it's not New York anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, man. It is. It's definitely. And, you know, some of the, the, you know, it's it's a fine line. It's so weird, too, because, like, I'll go out on the road and like we're we're, we're touring as Are You Garbage, where we do like some live stand up and then also like uh, do interact like an interactive thing with the with the audience at the end of the show. And you do just have more leeway in the middle of the country. Like, you know, whether if you're in like Indy or you're in, you know, fucking Ohio, or if you're down South in Nashville or Rock, you do just have, uh, you know, things where I'm like, well, I've been telling this for a year in New York. I know they tend to tighten up right here. The other, you know, they just laugh at the line rather than being like, Ooh, what's happening. So are, there are, is definitely, it is, it is definitely tighter in New York, but. I mean, it used I'm to hoping be, it bounces back a bit. It used to be in stand-up comedy that everybody would laugh about 90% of the time until one of their subgroups got mentioned and they get butthurt. Right now, it's everybody's butthurt on behalf of everybody else, so there's butthurt yeah. for the whole fucking show. Why show up, bitch? Yeah. Stay at home and fucking knit or whatever gay shit you were doing before and shut the fuck up and stay out of the club. And goddamn, every time I go to a, a comedy show here in Austin, I can see it. It's like a 32-year-old white woman, right? Never been married, no kids. Uh, recently broke up with her boyfriend. Yeah. And she's super on edge. 
<laughs> waiting for something to happen to respond to you. Yeah. That's all she cared about that night. Like, you know what? I'm going to fucking I'm gonna say something this time. Like, this is the time that I oh, say yeah. something. Shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. <laughs>